Hello there, I'm the Beast Manager and welcome back to Satisfactory, my friends. Now, today we are going to dedicate this episode to do some exploration, my friends, because, uh, well, our steel foundry is ready, right? We uh, have seen that in the last episode we have completed this magnificent thingy, right? And now we should dedicate some time to get the... Um, phase 2 thing is done, right? But we need a factory for that. We need a good location for that. So, you know, I was thinking, well, maybe it is time for us to uh, dedicate a little bit of time and explore outside of our comfort zone over here. Uh, we have been pretty much just dedicated all of these episodes to this corner of the map. I think it is time for us to branch out a little bit, don't you think? Uh, so, in this episode, we are going to take our trusty tractor over here. Uh, we are going to just go towards the um, uh, starter base so that we can fill it with concrete and uh, steel plates uh, so that we can build stuff if we need to and uh, other than that we are just going out there and explore and yes I painted my truck uh, bright yellow because I will... oh wait that's not the correct uh, exit I painted bright yellow because I was unable to find it most of the times and this way uh, with this color is far simpler to see where this thing is located. All right, my friends, one quick refill later. We have the, the storage completely full and even my inventory also completely full with just a few squares uh, remaining because, uh, you know, it's always a good idea to have uh, a little bit of space. We might find some uh, slugs along the way, so I kind of want to collect as many as I possibly can. So I think that we are going to start uh, going through here, right? close to our coal power plant because we have the, the road right there so if we need to extend it it would be easy uh, if we don't find anything uh, going this way we can always turn back and then go through this way because we also have the other road right there right so let me move towards the coal power plant and from there we'll see what happens I mean, I think if we go through here, we won't be finding anything too spectacular because uh, I recall that the um, sulfur mine is right next to a, a waterfall and therefore probably we won't have a large path to go and find anything like too spectacular, but still, let's go through here. Um, if we can find like a flat area with a bunch of iron, uh, that's a good start, uh, but uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what we come up with. with uh, what we can find out, uh, but uh, yeah, I am not too confident that this is the right spot. I mean, there is so much stuff to find, I barely moved from the uh, last stop that I made. Oh, Jesus, what? As long as there is uh, no, like, big spiders, I don't care too much. But at the same time, I can find the... Uh, the creatures. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What do we need? Frames? Look at that. We have the frames, and... Thank you. There we go. An hard drive, and now you can just complain. Uh, the, the good stuff, it's nothing special. Just a couple of reinforced plates. We have plenty of those, so... Not exactly... Uh, like, super high-value stuff, so... Let's continue. Don't fall! No! Oh Jesus! Ah! Okay. It was a good attempt. It was a good attempt. Okay. Uh, but uh, apparently uh, I fell and I damaged myself a little bit. Come on! Come, come! Jesus! Come on! You can do it. There we go. Let's go grab another slug. Uh, this journey is already worth it, my friends. Just because we found like so many slugs, it's 
Like, we need the power shards. We are going to need them in the future, so... I'm happy for fi to, to find, like, uh, all the slugs. Three slugs in, like, uh, two minutes. Uh, that's a positive thing in my book. Oh wow, this is Iron Central, my friends. Look at this, six pure iron nodes in such close proximity. Uh, I like it. Me like is, me like is over here. Me like is, okay. So I think we even like, uh, this ain't exactly a flat area, right? But we can always make it flatter by just pushing the terrain up with platforms, right? Oh, look at this, there is also limestone in here. I think. Yep, limestone. Uh, boy, oops, wrong key. It, come on, game. Stop that. Let's see, do we have... I don't know, copper. Okay, I like it. I like it. Uh, I don't know. Coal. I mean, there is a little bit of it there. It's a tad bit far away, but not super far away. It's the same distance as, like, for example, the coal power plant to our um, uh, foundry, so uh, probably good. I don't see any mountains, so it should be relatively easy to go grab it. My friends, I think we have found it. I think we found it. Like, it is kind of useful to have this thing to be close to our uh, main base. Otherwise, uh, well, when we go grab stuff, oh no, 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 don't fall, come on, come on, you can do it, come on, come on, there we go, there is a power slug over there, that's what I'm trying to go and grab, uh, and we probably just need to put the platform higher than this, if we put the platform higher than this arc, I mean, I think we just need to destroy the trees and uh, that's fine. Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall, come on. This is uh, a little bit... Uh, tense, shall we say, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, not right now. Come on. There we go, beautiful. So, yeah, all we have to do is come over here. And put the, the floor higher than this. There we go. Is that another one? Or is that a fart plant? Nope, that's another slug. Cool, okay, I'll grab that one. So, the only thing, what we are going to do, in order to maintain this plant within the same grid as the foundry, uh, what we do is quite simple. I come over here, right in the spot that I'm occupying right now, and I select one of these markers. Do we have, like, the foundry? thingy, uh, I don't know, let's go over here, select the icon, found three, uh, do -do -do -do, select image, space elevator stuff, there we go, mm. let's make it far, and apply, bam, so now we know where we have to bring a uh, road towards, it's going to be a little bit of expensive, it's going to be expensive on the concrete side, but uh, we have plenty of that, so... It's totally fine, and then we just need to connect it to this point over here, which, uh, which apparently is the highest point in the vicinity. If we build anything higher than this, uh, we are going to be cool. Oh, there is another power slug in the fart cloud over there. Uh, that's fine, I'm just going to grab that one, go back, and start building the road towards this. Okay, this was actually faster than I was anticipated, my friend. <laughs> oh boy, uh, I was expecting spending the entire uh, episode uh, looking for this, and uh, I'm just playing for like 15... Oh, Jesus, no, why did I... Oh, come on. No, don't die! Fuck me. Well. That happened. Alright. That, 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 that was not cool. That was not cool. Luckily for me, I have uh, another set of... Uh, uh, Blade Runners, and I'll just make another basher, and the rest we can retrieve once we uh, get our corpses back. Well, I mean, I'm going to do something really stupid. I'm going through the middle of the night, without anything in my hands, and move through the middle of the forest to go grab my stuff. 
not exactly smart, but uh, hopefully unless spiders attack, at that point I'm just screwed, I will have to run for it, but I think that I am cool uh, without running most of the uh, creators that exist in the world. Well, luckily for me this was an uneventful, uneventful uh, journey, uh, so, uh, oh come on, really, really game, no, okay, oh shit. I can hear noises, my friends, and I'm not happy about that. Come on, pick up the rest of the stuff. Pick up that. The thing is, I have to equip one thing at a time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can hear noises that I don't like. I'm hearing noises that I don't like. Come on. Uh, gee, I have one stuff, one too many. Uh, let me go towards the truck. Where's my truck? Where's my truck? There is it. And uh, turn those uh, slugs into uh, shards. Come on. And then I can pick up the other... Um, other thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't like being in here. I feel like I'm being observed by um, Aragog-like creatures and I would like to leave, please, if at all possible. Alright, so time to go back. This one should be pretty simple. Uh, oh boy. If I can remember the way back, that is. Uh, which I can't, because... Uh, uh, well, I will find my way back. Don't worry. Well, there is a golden power slug over there. Let's see if I can get access to it. Yes, I can. Beautiful. Just need to get rid of something. Let's see, something that I don't need. Uh, I don't know. Well, these pipes. Goodbye. Because uh, this is more important. Alright, after a few accidents, here we are. Uh, coming back was far harder than I first anticipated, but that's totally fine. There we go. We can park right in here. I shouldn't bother any of our regular traffic. So, the objective... Um, what the hell am I gonna do this? I want to go that way. Uh, this one is going to be interesting. It's going to have a lot of curves, shall we say. Uh, <laughs> okay, so I kinda want to go that way. Uh, I'm going to split it off probably over here. I don't want to, to have the intersection right next to the ramp because uh, those guys, I don't want those guys to be interrupted with uh, climbing, right? We kind of want to probably create the intersection somewhere around here uh, and then uh, just, you know, create a tiny a tiny stretch of uh, into that way and then a corner going that way. Now my friends, if you guys hear a bunch of noise uh, today it's because it's a uh, very, very hot, and I have to have my window open, and it's rush hour, so all of those factors combined, maybe you guys will have to, um, you know, listen to some uh, loud motor motorcycles and stuff like, holy Jesus, get out of the way, and stuff like that. So, I fell, and I notice, oh, uranium over there, interesting. Okay, okay. Uh, very interesting, my friends. We found a little bit of copper over there and over there, and this mysterious cave over there. If I hadn't, um, if I hadn't an uh, uh, important mission, I would probably go over there. But my inventory is full of garbage anyway, so there is no point. There is no point, and I need to go up a little bit more. Uh, let's just say that there is a lot of going up. I'm trying to do things in steps, so it's not uh, too aggressive on the tractor. Because uh, uh, you know they go up uh, very slowly. These ramps are not exactly uh, the best. Uh, I would li I would like to have the uh, two meter ramps instead, because they are easier on the uh, trucks. But the uh, scaffolding the doesn't align uh, with the uh, two meter ramps. Uh, you know these pieces over here, these ones they don't align with them, and so uh, it would be ugly. Okay. Uh uh, now let's continue going upwards and uh, soon to the side once we go over that a little uh, peak over there. I thought I was close, my friends. I thought I was like in here. I was like, hmm, I must be super... No. I'm not even halfway there. Oh my lord. Holy Jesus, this road is going to be so big. Uh, yeah. Okay, well, let's continue. I can already see the frame that we placed down to as a marker, my friends. I can't believe it. We are almost there. I think I brought almost enough resources to uh, complete the road, which I, I didn't. Um, but at least we are going to be extremely close. Oh boy, finally, my friends, finally. 
And uh, that's it. This is the last platform that I can put down. I don't have any more concrete with me. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but uh, we end up over here. Right next to our marker. Which was the location that we wanted anyway. Oh boy, this is a very, very, very long road. And uh, why do we have a crate over there? What the hell? Why is there a crate over there? I probably built a platform to go grab a slug and then... Uh, I, I, I Ah, uh, me and my tendency of living garbage all over the world. I am the only human around here and I still can't help myself from polluting this entire thing. Oh well, time to go back and uh, grab myself more concrete. This is going to be quite a journey. Um, my friends, I think I found Jesus' room uh, over here. Uh, well, let's pretend like we didn't see anything and let's move on. Another Jesus' room over there, my friends. You know, these these rooms are so powerful that if you hit them, uh, you gain uh, flying powers. You get so high, you can fly. All right, my friends, we are finally. Finally back. It took a while to get in here, but uh, you know what? We are already here. I think this is uh, high enough that we can start building our platform over here. Uh, pretty much just like in the foundry, we are going to have a road that uh, gets straight into the plant itself. Uh, please, game, just be careful with these uh, lag spikes because uh, you know I'm building on top of the world. If I fall, I die and I have to go all the way back to my starter base. So yeah, I think this is going to be uh, the location. We are already next to the platform that we have marked. We are so high that we have uh, these things flying close to our street. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, so there is another power slug over there. Uh, yeah, I think I'm happy with this location. I'm just going to extend this by 10 additional uh, foundations and then I'm going to start building a huge uh, platform for us to use as uh, the bottom floor of our facilities. All right, my friends, in here we have a 21 by 24 uh, tile uh, space. I mean, it's... Uh, holy Jesus. Can I... Let me see, can I do this? Um, I doubt it. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, it's flying too fast for me. Doesn't matter. Uh, in any case, as I was saying, we are going to have a 21 by 24 uh, uh, foundation over here. A loud buzz going outside. Uh, we can always expand it more as we see fit going into that direction, but the objective would be to have something along these lines. We would have a road right in here, and now that I decided to speak, everybody decided to come through the road, of course, and make a bunch of noise, but in any case, uh, we'll pretend we are not listening to that. So in here, we are going to have a centralized uh, road, right? Uh, we have a road right there, the connection to the main road. Uh, our vehicles are going to come through here. And, uh, well, the idea would be, because this is going to be the place we are going to build all of our stuff, we probably are going to have multiple uh, inputs, right? Not only the steel stuff that we are going to bring from our, from our steel foundry, but uh, where is the thingy? Transportation, truck station. Um, but also, you know other stuff that we probably don't even know that we need just yet. So the idea would be to have something along these lines. One truck stop over there. Uh, maybe not right there, that's a tad bit too close. There we go. So pretty much this is going to allow us to have three rows of these things, right? The uh, truck stations, we just need to like uh, give it a little bit of space between them, but uh, right now for demonstration purposes that doesn't really matter too much. 
Come on, connect over there. Beautiful. Right, and now we can imagine these things uh, just filled up with truck stations, right? In the middle of them, there is always a road for uh, the trucks to be able to uh, uh, move around, right? Uh, let's say that we want over there. The truck comes through here, dumps the stuff, and then we have three uh, vacuuming ladens on either side. Three over there and three on the other side. And uh, that's it. This is going to allow us to have a huge amount of input um, from various stuff because we are going to have so many truck stops because that, that is going to allow us to bring so much stuff. It's not going to be... Uh, it's going to be ridiculous, my friends. And it's going to be gorgeous and wonderful. And I'm pretty certain that by the end of, of it, we are going to be transporting and uh, fabricating a whopping three frames per minute, two smart plates and uh, one and a half uh, cable. I'm pretty certain that after we inputting like 5,000 different things into this thing, that, that that is going to be the numbers that we are going to end up with. Oh boy, that is going to be interesting, I can tell you. But in any case, I actually already e exhausted most of the supplies that uh, I brought with me, and believe it or not, uh, I barely have any concrete left. So I'm just going to expand the uh, the uh, f uh, factory floor over here as much as I can, and then after I'm run out of stuff, I'm going to go back, and then uh, I think uh, we can start working on uh, upwards, because uh, for now at least, this is more than enough. Uh, all of this factory floor and uh, you know that is going to be precisely the same upstairs because this is going to be another of my boxy builds I love myself some boxes you know I played a lot of Metal Gear Solid when I was a little boy and so there is nothing else there is nothing in this life that I love more than boxes you know uh, but uh, <laughs> yeah my friends uh, the, the, I, I'm pretty certain the bigger we make this the better for future me because uh, we probably are going to be um, building so much stuff that uh, all the factory floor in the world is not going to be enough. Well, this is pretty much it. Uh, we have a huge platform, I believe it is like 34 or 32, between those two numbers, right? 32 or 34 um, large. And uh, yeah, I also was able to build a little bit of the top floor with the resources that I had, but uh, now everything is gone. So what we are going to do is just uh, build a personal storage box, or in this case several of these things. And I'm going to dump pretty much everything that I have that I don't need. Uh, like, for example, all of this, right? Bam, bam, bam. All of this garbage can stay because, well, we are going to need it sooner or later. So, uh, we can. Well, the silica comes with me because I might need it for something else. And I'm also going to empty out my truck because we brought, uh, you know, a bunch of useful things that I didn't know if, or if we are going to need it or not. So, I'm just going to take it all and dump it in here, in these boxes game don't crash the game is about to crash well I mean I played for like 60 hours without this happening oh no so many stuff yet to do oh come on game well like I said 60 hours without crashing oh, fine I'll excuse you for that well we are pretty much where we were before the game crashed I already cleaned my inventory but not completely there is still a little bit of garbage laying around let's dump all of that and that, 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 beautiful. We can go back, oh wait, the cable, the cable as well, kind of important to leave a little bit of cable behind. And let's go. This thing is going to be a beautiful box, that much I can tell you my friends. And it's going to be even bigger <laughs> than our foundry, which is going to be beautiful and gorgeous at the same time. But, uh, the, but then, on the other hand, I have to... Uh, do large journeys between these places and, you know, our other bases, which is not exactly ideal, but well, it is life, I suppose. Alright, so this is all the concrete that we have, actually. Uh, we are using it so fast uh, that we can't replenish it fast enough, but well, I kind of wanted to stop in here as well, because um, as I anticipated, we have plenty of coupons available to us, my friends. How about we use them to buy a bunch of uh, cool stuff, shall we? 37 coupons. Now, let's see. I kind of... There is a plenty of things that I want, such as uh, these things. I kind of want that. So let's add that to the cart. And uh, the inverted. Yes, please. And uh, this one's not really... Oh, we also have inverted. So yes, I want to make like a bridge arch and uh, whatnot. So let's put that. 
when it comes to architecture, I kind of want the other rails where they are. I want this. Cart, beautiful. And that's pretty much it, right? Yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, inverted the thingies. Yes, please. Uh, the frames. The, no, not really. I already have the windows. And yeah, I think that's it. Oh, many thingies. 16. Oh, I still have so many uh, coupons left. So let me see if there is like a... Uh, a few things that we could grip metal. What is this? Hmm. It costs uh, steel beams, but uh, could it be better than con than um, asphalt for the uh, vehicles? I don't know. I have to try that that one out. Yeah, I'm just going to buy these frames and that uh, thing over there, and uh, that's all the t coupons that we had. There we go. So in like uh, maybe five episodes we'll have a bunch more coupons that we can use to buy other things. But for now, I'm just going to stuff my inventory filled with a bunch of stuff that, mi that I might be laying around. And uh, we are going to get it going. Oh, I, I should get some uh, steel stuff from our foundry as well. Now, friends, I was already on my way when I remembered the mem research is done. How about we take a look at the recipes that we got? Hmm? I think that's a good idea. Let's see, alternate uh, rods, alternate uh, frames, and uh, alternate... Uh, this is kind of garbage. Well, I think I might get the rods, because, uh, you know, uh, we got a recipe that has a far greater uh, production rate, so maybe that would not be a terrible idea. And, uh, you know, this one was, uh, would also be nice, but uh, th I think this one is better. Let's select this one. And bam, there we go. Time to keep on moving now. Alright, I think this is more than enough steel stuff. Uh, I will test the new ramps on the way uh, to the to the um, new facilities. Uh, we'll see if these uh, that I just unlocked are better uh, than the uh, asphalt. I sure hope so, because the uh, trucks, they have a lot of difficulty going through... Um, uh, going through ramps, but I don't have like my ho my hopes are not that high. I have to admit. All right, my friends, this is one of the uh, hardest ramps that we have. This is a eight tile ramp, so the truck has a little bit of difficulty going through it. Uh, we'll see if this helps out. Let's see. The maximum speed is usually 10 kilometers per hour uh, on the other ramps. So let's see if in here we can do better, shall we? Uh, no, we can't. Okay, that's what I was expecting. Uh, this is just uh, aesthetical, pretty much. Holy Jesus, how the hell did you get up here, yeah, bruh? This is not a good place for you to be. Alright, finally we are back. This was uh, quite a long journey, but now we have a little bit more supplies. Uh, not a lot, mind you. Hopefully this is going to be more than enough to uh, complete uh, at least the first floor so that I can then wall off everything and be happy with uh, the results. Uh, you know what, my friends, I was thinking, and instead of just uh, using up all the materials that I have, um, I'm going to do something a little bit boring, but necessary. I'm going to bring power over here. Yeah, I'm going to bring power over here, and, uh, well... Huh... It's not going to be fun, is it? No, it's not. But uh, like I said, it is necessary, so uh, uh, I'm going to bring power over here. And then I know there is like limestone deposits somewhere in this vicinity. And uh, we are going to use them to make ourselves a little bit of concrete while we are working. That way we don't always need to go back uh, to collect um, uh, supplies. We can just uh, use from the supplies that we craft over here. And uh, I'm, go I'm just going to build everything temporarily on the... Uh, forest floor so that uh, I don't have to like worry about it uh, later uh, but uh, yeah now oh I don't have any rods that would be bad if I didn't have brought any but I did I did brought me some rods and uh, I have more over here so that's not a problem uh, no joke my friends but we actually ran out of quick wire just as we are about to reach the intersection and by the way, my uh, unit of measurement is uh, one jump and a little bit. That's pretty much how I have been measuring uh, all of these thingies. Uh, but yeah, I'm glad I ran out uh, just over here because uh, now I can just walk back home. Uh, 
It's still a, a little bit of a walk, but at least we are closer than we wa than we were if we were uh, all the way uh, at our other factory. And here we go, my friends. Final connection done, and uh, we have power. We have power over here. Uh, now I have to find a way to go down without uh, murderizing myself. Let's see something along these lines, right? We go over here. We'll create uh, one of these T crossings, right? And then over here, we make a curve. I said the curve, thank you. And then we build a ramp going down. Holy Jesus, this is going to be a big, oh my lord, this is going to be a huge ramp. All right, so now we are underneath this big ass platform and I have to admit I'm starting to get PTSD. I'm starting to be afraid that uh, maybe an Aragog is in here waiting. But we have to uh, just push through that fear. And now, let's see. Limestone. That is the most important thing right now. There we go. Beautiful. We have two nodes over here. Awesome. Please be pure. Please be pure. And uh, it's normal. And you are pure? Pure. Beautiful. Uh, we have power upstairs. We just need to bring it over here. Oh, I don't have... I don't have the, the portable mining thingies. Okay, let me go back. At least the truck has a um, crafting bench where I can craft uh, those things. All right, my friends, there we go. We have power over here. Connect to that, connect to that. Beautiful. Uh, we now build, let's say, a bunch of constructors. Where are the constructors? There they are. Of course, I don't have the freaking plates, of course. Okay, so now, with the freaking plates in hand, let's just build like, uh, I don't know. I really don't know, let's say... Yeah, let's go like this. Six bad boys, and then we put uh, the suppliters uh, right here, alright? Come on. Bam. And something along the... This is not going to be perfect, okay? I don't know why I'm trying to find perfection in a place that it's uh, literally impossible. Uh, but oh well. Alright, so we are ready to get that rolling. We just put a merger right there. Mark 3 belt. One comes from here. The other goes over there. This thing now connects right there. And bam! We just need to bring power from there over here. Right, and then go like this, bam, bam. And like this, come on. All right, so now we are producing in-house uh, concrete, even though we're in a temporary setup. And now ask me, did I do any math to uh, get this rolling? Absolutely not, I find that proposition like appalling okay me doing math why just build a bunch of machines and a bunch of splitters and mergers everything in the end should work out just fine obviously but yeah now that we have a little bit of uh, limestone going we don't need to go back for concrete uh as much we should also do a little bit of uh, maybe plates in this one over here perhaps not a bad idea uh, do you mind a good sir Thank you, we're trying to uh, do something in here, okay? There we go, Mark II Miner. Bam, this thing produces... Uh, like, for the Iron Ore, probably is a good idea. 240, right? I think these ones go for 30. Right? Uh, 30 a minute, so if we go 240 divided by 30, that... I said by 30, that's 8 of these bad boys. Okay, so the constructors is a one for a one, so we have eight machines over there. We need to put eight constructors over here. Uh, we belt them together, and then we just merge the uh, outputs in the end. Alright, my friends, it is time to kick everything into life. Let's connect that pole to that pole, and bam! All the machines... Hello? Why uh, only one machine turned on? We have power over here. Oh, because I have no recipe. Dum dum. All right, my friends, here we go. So now we are producing uh, iron ingots. Those iron ingots are going to be turned into plates and all of those plates are just going to be sent over here to be stored. And now we are producing both plates and concrete over here, which means that at least for those two resources, we don't need to go back 
uh, although this is uh, going a little bit slower. Uh, are you guys receiving all the uh, limestone that you need? I think they, they are, so uh, we are producing more than enough limestone. Good. Alright, my friends, would you look at this beautiful flat platform? Uh-huh, we have plenty, plenty of space to work uh, with, which is just fantastic. Now, my friends, uh, I was thinking about the organization of our factory, and I think the best course of action is to have every single floor dedicated to a particular kind of input. Like, for example, this one would be for the smart plating, then we would make another uh, platform for the uh, frames, another one for the cable, blah 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 blah, right? And uh, in each platform, the uh, accessory industry will have to be available, right? So, uh, like, for example, this one is going to be the spaghetti floor, okay? This is not going to be the assembly floor, we are going to have a spaghetti floor, obviously. Probably, you know, one of the best ideas we could possibly have, but on top of this floor, right, we are going to have the next... Of course, I don't have any rotors. Of course, I'm always missing something. Let's go back, because I have plenty over there. Now, while I'm just searching for these rotors, there we go. Uh, now, I notice, I notice that um, uh, my voice is a little bit low. Uh, the volume is a little bit lower um, in the, in both of the first part of this video, because this is the second part, and uh, the Universe video and uh, other videos that I have been recording lately. Uh, that's you know, I've been uh, my voice is a little bit strained. And uh, yeah, you know, the base manager has some filthy habits, uh, like smoking, for example, which is not good for your voice. And lately, I've been smoking a lot because life is stressful. And uh, yeah, my friends. Uh, before we get into this, one quick uh, like, this is probably the best life advice that I could possibly ever give you. If you don't smoke, don't start. Okay, ne just don't. Just don't. It is incredible how a filthy, disgusting thing like tobacco can grab you and hold you for a considerable amount of time until you decide to quit. And even when you decide to quit, the hard part is not quitting. The hard part is never to start smoking again. You will have to live for the rest of your life knowing what smoking is like and knowing you will not be able to do it. And it's very difficult, okay? So just, just don't do it, if you can avoid it. But in any case, enough of life advices, because, uh, you know, this that's kind of the thing that most people already know. Uh, so, one of those things, right? In any case, right now, my friends, coming back into the video, <laughs> into Satisfactory and forgetting about real life, we have three things that we need to construct, right? Smart pleadings, cables, and the frames. And uh, we are going to dedicate one floor to each thing, and therefore we need to craft the items or bring them from the uh, foundry if necessary uh, to do uh, you know set inputs like for example the smart plating would require these things which in turn would, would require one of these and then another this to make the plates and then the rotors there we go and then we need rods and screws plates and screws so uh, yeah you can you can see where this is going you can see where this is going right uh, there is Come on! Snap! Thank you! There is plenty of accessory industry required to, gra to get the uh, smart plating going, right? In order to get one smart plating, we need to get all of this industry going as well, so plenty of space is going to be required. Let's take a look at this one next. And the stators we are going to bring from our uh, foundry will probably need to um, increase production a little bit. Uh, but the cable we can do it in here. We have um, the uh, the copper uh, nearby, so we can actually do that in here. So uh, taking into consideration that we are going to take uh, the stuff from uh, our base, we only need one of you to turn the copper into wire, right? And then another one of you to turn uh, the wire into cable. Yeah, and we... Oh, I forgot the smelting for those things as well. But you get the point, right? Uh, the stators can come from the foundry, so that's fine. And for this, we need the modular frames, which we, we, sh we should craft in here, and the steel beams, which we are going to bring from our base. Um, once again, we probably will need to uh, increase production a little bit, uh, but uh, nothing out of the ordinary. So we need modular frames. Modular frames are made in this bad boy. To make modular frames, you need 12 iron rods and 3 reinforced plate per minute means we need another one of these okay maybe not that far away please snap over there thank you 
and uh, one of these. Where are you? One for rods, another one for plates, which in turn also requires three of these. Holy Jesus! Now that I think about this, I can see the amount of and amount of plates. God damn it! <gasps> okay, we'll pretend that I have enough plates. Okay, we'll ju we'll just have to pretend. So, <laughs> oh my lord! Uh, no, this is the screws one. Come on, one recipe screws back. Good. Uh, so yeah, in order to make this, we bring not this, this, not this. This. In order to make the uh, versatile frameworks, we'll bring the steel beams from outside of this factory and the modulars, the things we can just craft in here using all of that industry plus the smelters. So, yeah, as we can see, just, just, just to make an example, yeah, we make made a bunch of machines. So if we are to industrialize this process uh, to make more than one frame per minute, we are going to need an entire factory floor dedicated to that. Uh, particular thing right so you know what let me just clean this garbage because uh, this is going to be the spaghetti floor as I mentioned and uh, then we can move on to the actual project uh, in this uh, spaghetti floor we are going to do precisely like we did in our uh, foundry we are going to do uh, like uh, this we're going to put a, a, a one meter foundation over there so that we have like th seven meters worth of space to put this spaghetti at and I think that is more than enough space uh, we always need a buffer floor to uh, bring belts and stuff like that because of the uh, truck stops and the inputs that we are going to get from uh, various locations around this uh, factory. Uh, we need to al a place to align them, right, and put them in the correct orientation and that's always very, very messy. Uh, but uh, yeah, my friends, I think this is a good place to stop because, well, first I already edited the first part so I know how long this video is. And second, I think we already achieved quite a lot. I mean, just look at the ginormous world we built. We built also accessory industry in here. And uh, we already have the uh, first uh, floor uh, for the uh, space elevator stuff. Uh, so yeah, I think we achieved all of the, ob of the objectives and even more, which is saying something for a satisfactory episode where we get to, to, to do the things that we set up to do and we even do a little bit more. Uh, especially because there were no spiders in here, luckily. Uh, so uh, we were able to work uninterruptedly. But, uh, well, next episode, my friends, we are going to take care of this baguette and hopefully even take care of the first floor uh, of the factory, starting to create a couple of smart splitters. So, like, uh, if nothing goes wrong, maybe in three episodes we get the uh, phase two rolling into the space elevator I, I think that's a good timetable I think that's a good timetable so um, how about we set up to do that and uh, then be murderized by spawning spiders that uh, for some reason are not spawning right now but uh, in the worst possible moment they, we are, they are going to spawn and murderize us distract us from our objectives and make us lose a bunch of time but all of that is a problem for future me because present me will have to go my friends and so with all of that said I hope that you have enjoyed this episode and that you are enjoying the series so far. If you are, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. But in the meantime, this is the Base Manager signing out. Bye bye!